I first came to New York in 2009 as part of a group exhibition um, and that was I guess as a visual artist, as a painter and a street artist as well. So that was the first time I turned up two days later. I was in a group exhibition with Banksy and Shepard Fairey and Futura and Oz Gemios, this massive global exhibition in Soho. And I sort of met all these people, was pulled into this community and obviously then getting mentored by Ron English, I kind of went back to Australia and came back to New York and had this kind of whirlwind moment of being brought into this community. And I think it was a really, really incredible experience and I was really, really lucky to be in the city at that time because it was all kind of really popping off. Getting interested in, in street art as a teenager as, and, and graffiti as a teenager was really an American-based idea. I realised I didn't really... You know, I'm not someone who grew up in an urban environment, I grew up in a suburban environment. I don't... You know, why am I painting these inner-city walls? I should actually be painting the things that react to me, like I should react to my environment. And my environment was suburbia. So I wanted to go and explore that. I think everyone has their own relationship to home. So I think the experience can be deeply personal. I mean, for me, it's tapping into this familiar and this thing that we all understand and subverting that and playing with that. I think the home represents something that is incredibly stable in our minds, but is actually a temporal object this thing that people pin their lives to and pin this idea of stability and family and community to is something that can disappear very quickly. And I think when you paint a house, when you change it, when you make people look at it anew, you, I think you can reveal that vulnerability and I think that's a confronting thing. You're just meant to physically experience this work and so that's, it's important to me that an audience can come in and have a complete sensory experience with this work. And you know it's less than 10 minutes and it took me two years to make. The creative aspect is a really an internal thing, but they're isolated, tiny moments where you're expected to be this sort of like outgoing, gregarious human, but really you're actually just a giant nerd for this thing that you want to make and see exist in the world. And there's this uncomfortable, necessary aspect to go out into the world and show it. So my whole career has been me taking risks and putting my work out there and then seeing what happens. The yeah, opening was big and it was crazy, it was really, um, and just kind of a big relief to finally show this work here in New York um, and in America, as an American based body of work, so showing it here was um, hugely important for me. It's generated kind of that next level of interest in my work, which has been really exciting.